Uh, good day folks, uh, August 7th, 2014, uh, and today I, Salem Suicide, would like to talk to you about uh, this film and the characters in it. Uh, we're talking about Judge Joseph Dredd uh, and the movie Dredd, uh, which according to the creators of the character and the comic series, um, the strip has appeared in a British publication 2080, which is an ongoing science fiction comic strip. Um, one of the longest running in British history started in 1972. Uh, the creators of Judd's Dread are uh, uh, Mr. Wagner and a Spanish fellow named Carlos Esquerri, I believe his name is. Um, and uh, they wanted to borrow elements from uh, Clint, Eastwood, Clint Eastwood's character, uh, Dirty Harry Callahan, which had just appeared at the same time. Uh, of an ultra-violent uh, lawman in an ultra-violent world. Uh, the Judge Dredd comics take place in Mega City 1, which is an enormous urban sprawl on the east coast of uh, North America. And it, uh, New York City and Philadelphia and Washington DC and Atlanta and Miami and Boston all exist within this huge uh, urban area. In that regard, it's much like William Gibson's creation, uh, the sprawl, or the, what did they call it, the Bama, the Boston, Atlanta metropolitan area, which is also on the east coast of North America. Um, when uh, Wagner and Esquerra uh, created the Judge Dredd character, they wanted to have those elements from Dirty Harry of an ultra-violent lawman. Uh, appear, and that is certainly what Judge Dredd is. Uh, in the Judge Dredd's universe, there are three kinds of judges street judges, uh, administrative judges, and uh, office judges. The, all of the judges have the same uniform, and Carl, Carlos Esquera, um, he was inspired by a number of things to create that un those uniforms, um, and he was working in Spain at a time when Franco's fascist re regime was still fresh in everyone's mind. Uh, it had only ended recently, and people had those ideas in their head. Uh, Carlos Esquera bor borrowed a lot of concepts from um, uh, police uniforms, but also from the uniform of Nazi Germany's SS. Um, the viewer will recall that the SS was supposed to be uh, a nationwide paramilitary police force after the Second World War had ended. And um, the architects of the Third Reich had wanted the SS to have the, leg the legitimacy of combat troops, uh, and that is why they became involved in the actual fighting of the Second World War. Uh, when Carlos Esquera created the uniforms of the judges, he borrowed elements from the SS uniform. And a trait that appears in this film, Dread, starring Carl Urban, uh, but which didn't appear, for obvious reasons, in the 1995 Sylvester Stallone film, also about Judge Dredd, was that Judge Dredd's face uh, never appears. Uh, the, the reader and the viewer of the film um, never sees Judge Dredd's face. And this, is, in the comics, this is said to be a metaphor for the faceless, uh, almost anonymous nature of justice. Um, now, Sylvester Stallone's face had to be shown for obvious reasons, but Carl Urban's face doesn't appear in the film. Um, and Carl Urban's uniform as Judge Dredd was, is also different from the comic book uniform. Um, it introduces a lot more functionality in the real world, shall we say, than the one in the comic, uh, especially with smaller uh, eagle shoulder pads, smaller eagle epaulets. Okay? Uh, the film itself is tremendous, it's highly entertaining, uh, much more entertaining than the Sylvester Stallone version, and I think that's because it's grittier, closer to the original Judge Dredd source material. Uh, this film, Dredd, uh, is made uh, by South Africans and filmed on location uh, in Johannesburg, South Africa because the people who made the film wanted a city in South Africa closer to their home base that could double for any city in the United States, which Johannesburg can do. And given the nature of Mega City 1, where um, the majority of the Judge Dredd comic stories have appeared, that was a sensible choice. Uh, the uh, filming of this film is 
top-notch. It looks good. Uh, the characters are sympathetic. There's a lot of aspects of it that will appeal to the viewer, uh, and I really can't recommend it enough. And by the way, Judge Dredd has entered into popular culture. Uh, one of the uh, forefathers of thrash metal, Anthrax, has made Judge Dredd an important concept uh, to their musical universe that they've created. And I urge uh, anyone who's as interested in Judge Dredd as I am, you can tell I'm a bit of a fan, to uh, investigate an Anthrax song called I Am The Law, uh, which is the logo of this shirt. Um, but if you're looking for hard-edged, um, very gritty, um, uh, very realistic science fiction stories, look no further than Judge Dredd. Um, Judge Dredd is the ultimate, ultra, or the original and ultimate uh, ultra-violent comic character. Um, he's met up with people like Batman and the two don't really care for each other. And I'd be very interested to see how Judge Dredd and people like Wolverine or Cable would uh, measure up against one another. I think it would be interesting. Um, we'll probably never see that, comic companies being what they are, but we can dream, can't we? Anyway, uh, I cannot recommend Dread enough. Watch it and enjoy it. And have a nice day.